Welcome back to Creating Weebly. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create and manage student accounts. From your dashboard, you're going to click on My Students. And it's going to prompt you to enter a class name and possibly a password. My class name is going to be Room 16, and the grade is 4th. And because I want my student sites to be private, I'm going to enter a class password. Great for me. Anytime someone tries to go to your student site, they'll have to enter this password. I'm going to create the class. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to class settings. Because I want to turn on the blog comments for hold for moderation so that I have the opportunity to view and approve any comments coming to my students' web pages. I'm going to click save. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add a student by clicking on add a student. I'm going to call this student Emma Watson. And her username is going to be Emma W4. I'm going to give her the password of bubbles4. And then click add. Now she's in my class. Let's go ahead and see what her site is going to look like from her end. Students go to students.weebly.com and they enter their username, Emma W4, and their password, Bubbles4. She would click Login. I don't want it to remember this password right now. And then give a title for her webpage, Emma's Place. Just like when you created your web page, the options are going to be the same for students. She can add information to this page, or she can change the design by clicking Design and then choosing something that she likes. This one looks really good. Students can add a blog to their site or other pages, just like you did. So we're going to give her a new blog. We'll call it Emma's Thoughts and click Save. So Emma can go to her new blog page, delete the default post, and then create her first real post, my first blog. Welcome to my blog. And she can publish it live. Again, a parent who had a password could come in and read her blog and click on RSS feed and get her blog into their email. If I was creating student accounts, I would do them either together as a class all at once, or I might have one or two students do it individually with me at a time so that I could really give them that one-on-one -on -one attention and feedback, especially for fourth graders. So let's go back to the teacher account and I'm going to show you how to moderate comments. So I'm going to refresh this page now that we've added a student. So now you can see here that there's a moderate blogs button. If somebody had commented on Emma's blog, it would show up here. You could read the comment, who the author was, and the date. Then you would click on the box and say approve or delete. And that's all there is to it. I hope you go ahead and give it a shot and give your students the freedom to create their own websites.